Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. What I find so interesting about what I'm talking about today is it's really all on plan. Everything that I've been saying is on plan. It is actually happening. And one telltale sign that it is happening is what has come out about Hera and Megan's togetherness. Their togetherness is definitely not going forward with the same purpose. And we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. Today, Mr. Otis, oh my goodness, this is really getting to the point where we see Harry and Meghan, the big climax is coming. There's, there's, there's just certain things in life when they happen to you, there, there's a climax. You, you, you hit this, what is it, a crescendo, a crescendo. And that's, that's where we're heading right now. And, you know, like I've always said, I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel like they need some grace. They've had a difficult life. No, they have had everything but a difficult life. And when you've had life so, life so easily given to you on a platter where you can just just fall into millions of dollars without the hard work, where you can just fall into privilege without the hard work, and then you behave this way as Harry and Meghan have been behaving. I look at you and I'm like, okay, did you learn something? H have you learned anything just yet? Because you're still acting like a wackadoo. You're still acting like you don't have no sense. You're still acting like the world owes you something. And as long as you keep talking off the side of your face like somebody owes you something, I'm never going to feel sorry for you. And this is just one of those situations where you just look at them and like, mm, mm, mm. you just looking with, at them with the side eye all day long. What is wrong with you? <laughs> just, just get out my face, go learn something, go do something because you're still acting like a fool. And that's what I say about Harry Megan. But this is the telltale sign right here, this story right here, because they're finally addressing it. And I believe it's coming out just just by the, the, the people that work with them, that their purpose is no longer aligned. I mean, if, if, of course, in the beginning it was. But Harry, his purpose, everything about his his self, like what makes him happy, like every being in his body, like down to the the the, the atoms, the cells of this man everything it is tearing apart from that which aligned him with Megan in the beginning and this is the telltale sign this story right here now what they're saying is is that Harry and Megan are going in opposite directions and that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it Okay, I guess there's a way to look at it and think maybe it's not so bad. Would there be a chance that I could say something perhaps good about this couple? I don't know. Let's just keep looking. Apparently, the Duke of Sussex has no interest in doing another commercial project, which his wife, by, with his wife by his uh, side anymore. That's why Meghan has been forced to do her own thing. She's been forced. <laughs> I think more likely she's been like, OK, I'm going to go do this hair. <laughs> what are you getting ready to do? Because she's grounded in America. She's grounded in everything that she knows what to do. So there's no way that, you know, they're aligned. And Harry's like, OK, you know what, honey, I think I want to go do my own thing. And she's like, OK, no, it was, uh, you know what, Harry, I'm doing me. I'm doing me, boo. Go do you. Because we in America, you know, and I, I got my grounding in America. And Harry, he just like looking left in the dust like, OK, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, like a lot of people in Megan's past have been just left like what has happened, like Megan's ex-husband. OK, um, speaking to the mirror, royal author Tom Quinn suggests that Prince Harry will do his own thing in the future as Meghan will focus on her lifestyle brand. And this is what we are seeing. This is exactly how we saw it happening because they were first together aligned in America 
And now Harry is seeing the true intentions of his wife and that it really doesn't involve him. Harry is just a side handbag. He's just a little extra accessory, a carrying case to Megan's, you know, trajectory to getting what she wants within her own career. It does not include Harry. I mean, she needs him for the title. She needs him for the children because you're going you're gonna to owe me something with these kids from your sperm. Uh, <laughs> you know, we're going to use you, but we don't really need you at this point. I, mean, I think she's pretty much, you know, I got this. I got this, Sarah. <laughs> you know, and he, he just doesn't get it. He's, he, he's one of those men that just looks and says, well, what happened? You got used. You got you got taken. You got bamboozled. You've been you know, been turned out. You've been uh, taken for a ride. You've been taken advantage of. And uh, this is something that Harry could have learned a lot more from had he paid a little bit more attention to those that had his best interest. But he didn't pay attention, did he, folks? That's why we're here where we are right now. Now. He said, beyond writing another book, Harry is very unlikely to come up with his own commercial project. You can only you only have to look to him in various interviews to see that he probably doesn't have the drive or <laughs> the ability. You're darn right. He don't have the ability. He ain't got no talent. What is he going to do? You know, all you all you good for is, is what what you were born with. In, in the family you were born within. And does he realize that he was used? It's like almost so sad and tragic. It's like, man, do you know the woman just used you? Do you know you just threw your whole life away when you decided to have these children with this woman? Do you, do you realize? Oh, trust me. He's starting to realize. Very, very much so. Um... It's the result of growing up in a world where other people do everything for you. <laughs> Just like I said when I started my video, I mean, you, you've been pretty much handed everything. You don't know responsibility. You don't know responsibility. You don't know what it means to really be accountable. For your actions, you don't understand that there's a price to be paid now. And the price that Harry is going to have to pay is one that I don't know he's going to be able to pay. Because it's going to be a very painful price. And that's a, a price that I just don't think Harry's going to be able to pay. It may be too much for him. Um, so far, Prince Harry uh, has not made any comments about the matter, but many royal fans have noticed that he's remained rather quiet these last several weeks while Meghan has been busy launching her new business. Meghan is, you know, launching her brand. She's launching this this project that is very much down her, you know, down her alley of things that she likes to do. This is something that feels good to her, okay? Harry has realized that it's not for me, and this is why we don't hear from him. He's very quiet. He understands this is where the road ends for him. So he's having a very tough life right now. So this is why he's quiet and Megan is doing her own thing. But this is what I want to leave you with. Most recently, um, J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, has come out with her passion project for this uh, movie that she has written and starred in. And it's about love. And it's called This Is Me dot 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 now and she's done a documentary with this she has uh done an album for the songs within this sh this movie and she's also been on tour which her tour a lot of her dates have been canceled because a lot of people are not buying tickets to go see her and this is the comparison that i'm going to be doing with megan and jennifer lopez because what we see now with jennifer lopez and her flop and how she has been received by so many people to she's just not likable anymore. So much has come out about her and um, she's just not where she was over a decade ago, but she's trying desperately. And 
I almost see, and I actually do, I see Megan in what has happened to J-Lo right now. I see Megan beginning her journey to flopping, similar to what we see with J-Lo right now as she has actually flopped. There's a lot of similarities that you can just look at what's going to happen to Megan just by what we see happening with J-Lo right now and all the, the narcissism and the ego around this passion project that she's had and how it's not being well received because we just live in a new time with social media. People can't relate to J-Lo anymore. She's not someone that is nice. There's been a lot of negative stories out there about her and her attitude and her entitlement. Things we've heard of similar to Megan. And so as we watch the downfall of J-Lo right now in real time, we're looking at what is actually happening or going to happen to Megan as she starts to plan her own business venture without Harry because Harry's wiped his hands of it he's done and so that's going to be in an upcoming video I I can't wait to do this video because I did watch J-Lo's movie and I watched the documentary and I've got so much to say about it and how we're going to see the exact same thing that J-Lo is definitely feeling hurt over this is exactly what Meghan Markle is preparing herself for as she starts to plan her business venture it's going to happen to her. I can see it, folks. And I'm going to talk about that. So, Harry, too bad you are now uh, been used up, washed up. You're a rag. And uh, there's no way to get any vitality out of you as a prince here in America. You are completely useless. You have done your job. You can just go, go, go hang out, get a tan, just go do something. Your, your usefulness has been used up, essentially. Megan has just, just, just used you up. You just wrung out, just, just, just thrown away. And that's just, that's just what it is. And here he sees, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I just don't have any more usefulness left in me to um, get my wife to think that we are still somewhat compatible. They no longer share purpose. And when you no longer share purpose with your significant other, that's when it starts to crumble and fall apart. And that's what we're seeing in real time. And it is, it's unfortunate and it's very sad, but that's what it is. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.